In this video, we are exploring Lake Forest Mall by drone. I will be talking about the ups and the downward fall this place had. I was there last in 2021. What a big difference two years makes. So here's the history of Lake Forest Mall. First, we'll start with the 1970s. Lake Forest Mall first opened on September 12, 1978. At the time, the mall's anchor stores were JCPenney, Sears, and Hex. The mall was named in honor of Lake Walker, a man-made lake and prop park on the property prior. The mall opened with approximately 30 to 50 stores, with some of the first stores being relocated from the then nearby Indoor Village Mall, now an outdoor strip mall called Montgomery Village Center since 1991. The property, the mall was one of the first in the United States to feature an indoor ice skating rink on the lower level in the H section, along with being the biggest indoor shopping mall in the county at the time of the grand opening. The rink has since been changed into a multi-movie theater complex then by a food court, which now occupies the place. The 1980s for Lake Forest Mall. In 1984, the ice rink was replaced by a NTI Theaters movie theater, later renamed Cineplex Origin Lake Forest 5. 1990s. The criteria, 1994. The general manager was Barbara in 1995, the Woodward at the mall closed and was replaced by Lord and Taylor in 1996. Lake Forest was host to a Friendlies and a Long John Silver during the 1990s. They have since closed. On August 20, 1998, Tublin Center sold the property to GM Trust. Criteria September 1998. Some parking lots were developed, devoted to becoming to the Lake Forest Transit Center with the park and ride. Lake Forest Mall in the 2000s. On January 2000, the Cineplex Origin Lake Forest 5 movie theater was closed. On November 2000, a food court called Cafes in the Forest was introduced. Lake Forest Mall in the 2010s. Lake Forest Mall Center court in 2010. The carpeted area was removed in 2013. In 2012, the mall took on 14,000, well, $680,000 in net income. In 2013, Five Mile Capital's partners hired real estate developers Heinz to map out a long-term plan for Lake Forest, a brand new children's play area opened on the ground floor in front of the then J.C. Penney's on July 30th, 2013, with the original children's play area called Professional Frogs Court and nearby fountain in the center court were removed and tiled over in August 2013. In 2016, the mall took in 6 comma 180 comma 00 in net income on August 22nd 2017 Gaithersburg's Lake Forest Mall was sold at auction for 19.1 million a fraction of the 100 million price tag from 2012 the auction came after the mall's owner 5 mile capital went into foreclosure of as of August 27 the mall's General manager is Paul DiMarco. The Annapolis-based here, Richards Ventures, has Lake Forest under contract, which would not include the anchor stores in a potential purchase, but as of February 2018, the deal has not been closed. On February 28, 2019, it was announced that the JCPenney's would be closing as part of a plan to close 27 stores in the United States. The stores closed on July 5th, 2019. On Jul June 
fifth, twenty nineteen, Gaithersburg City Council Member Ryan tweeted that Lord and Taylor was planning to close its Lake Forest Mall located on sep- September fifteenth, twenty nineteen. This would leave Macy's and Sears as the only anchor stores left open before any redevelopment. As publicly desired by the Gaithersburg multiple government can be considered. The store closed on September 19th as scheduled. In 2019, WRS in Real Estate Investments purchased the land from U.S. Bank, which had bought it in 2018. WRS Inc. is planning to redevelop the entire 100 acres. On August 31st, 2019, it was announced that Sears would be closing its location at Lake Forest Mall as part of a plan to close 92 stores across the U.S. The store closed on December 1st, 2019, and leaves Macy's as the only anchor store left. Reduced where the Cineplex Forest 5 Theater once was and started out. With nine food businesses, with the roughly half a dozen food eateries already in the mall prior to the court food court in 2003 simmons property group purchased the mall on may 28 2006 macy's replaced hex as the leader had begun to purchase purchasers by the macy's nationwide originally developed owner and operated by tulum center the mall had been owned and managed by the Simmons Property Group since 2007, when it was purchased former owner and manager Wills Corporation. The company defaced it on its mortgage in 2011, and the mall was put up for sale after. Lake Forest Mall in the 2020s. On October 20th, 2020, WRSI announced that Lake Forest Mall would be demolished by 2024, with more significant dates being announced later in 2023. Unfernalized redevelopment proposal plans include relocating the Lake Forest Transit Center and Park and Ride from Longside Lost Knife Road to Russell Avenue, townhouses, office buildings, parking, garages, nearby the center of the store's movie theaters, cleaning up the pond to have a boardwalk built on top and among others. On January 4th, 2023, it was announced that Macy's would be closed as part of a plan to close four stores nationwide, all inside unperforming indoor shopping malls. This will leave the mall with no anchors left. The store is closing on March 18th, 2023. Bio liquidation sales that have started on January 9th, 2023. On January 17th, 2023, at a hearing on the Lake Forest Mall redevelopment plan in the City Hall on Gaithersburg, Maryland, with lack of any opening, open anchor stores in the future, Kevin Rogers of WRS Inc. announced that Lake Forest Mall and all of it entirely would be closing on March 31st, 2023, after 44 years of servicing the nearby community. However, it is currently not certain whether the mall would be demolished should redevelopment plans be rejected. There is a small possibility that the mall's building itself could be reproposed.
Thanks for watching my video. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And also make sure you hit that like button down below. Thanks for watching.